everybody, this is Jen from Scrapping Posh and I am here today with an Artistic Studio Creation Design Team project. So head on over to ASC Supplies on Etsy and use Scrapping Posh 10 for your 10% discount of all your regular price items. So we're going to continue today on my Project Lifestyle slash 12 by 12 scrapbook for my nephew, Liam. And he was born December 6th of last year, so I'm a little bit behind because I still haven't hit the one month mark. However, I almost did on this day. Uh, so I did about three weeks and two hours, uh, three weeks worth of PL and two hours. So that was pretty good. And uh, I'm using the Graphic 45 Dreamland collection. And I start with the 12 by 12 uh, patterns and solids, the 12 by 12 pattern paper uh, collection with the stickers, the 8x8, and uh, ephemera cards, journaling cards. So uh, when I started the last video that I did, and I will link it down below, and this video I had only pulled the collection. I didn't have any other um, paper, but once I realized I was getting kind of low on my 12 by 12 patterns, I decided that I needed to pull in some cardstock. So I pulled in some cardstock, uh, just eight and a half by 11s and 12 by 12s of coordinating colors. I've got dark blue, light blue, yellow, and orange. And you'll see me start to use those in the next couple of pages. So, uh, it, I'm okay with not having a lot of solids to begin with and then kind of converting into those because um, I didn't do it like there's only a couple pages done so it kind of, it won't be it, it'll still be cohesive is what I'm trying to say so I'm moving those hexagons around those are actually stampin up stamps uh, and punches so I had stamped those and then I punched them all out in like a not uh, not quite navy I think or the navy color and then I spared you all the me putting on those mom and dad stickers all these embellishments came from my stash including like that little bitty tiny frame I had cut that forever ago on my cameo silhouette for Project Life, and I am lacking so bad. I am slacking so bad on my Project Life. Um, I kind of I haven't done it very much, and I have all the albums, I have the page protectors, and I do want to go back and at least put photos in them. I do enjoy the timeline that the Project Life albums give me. So uh, yeah, they're they're exciting. Uh, so I finished that 12 by 12 layout and I'm going on to the mating page and this is the baby shower page. Um, this one is going to be the A style, I think it's A style. Uh, and then I think I use a couple different ones throughout this video. So uh, off camera there, you. You don't see me uh, cutting the papers down to size and, you know, just giving it a little variation. Now, one thing that I'm not doing in this project is journaling because it, I think that that's something that she could definitely do and that it would make more sense for her to do, uh, his mom, than for me to do because I'm only there in like two weeks of these they live in Wisconsin so uh, this is just you know for him one day now I pulled in those really cute forest animal wood veneers that I had gotten from Target at the dollar spot or maybe it was Joanne I think it was Joanne's uh, a couple years ago when fall was coming to an end they had things on clearance of course they weren't on clearance and I thought they were but that's okay um, and yeah, you just see me finish another page, <laughs> so that was really quick, but those, uh, those little wood veneers go perfectly with this theme because her baby shower and the nursery decor are the forest animal theme. So 
at this point in time, we haven't even got to, like, the birth yet. So, technically, if I hadn't done these preliminary pages, I probably could have gotten done the entire first month in you know, one video, one sitting. So that's kind of my goal for the next few months. Uh, I have all the pictures that I need saved that I totally got from Facebook. <laughs> like I Facebook stocked their page and got pictures off of it. And she knows I'm doing it, so it's not weird or anything. But, you know, when you live two, two states away, it's just kind of way things go. And yeah, so we have this, uh, this is the opposite side of the baby shower page. So uh, again, I'm pulling out all these super old stickers. My daughter is 18 years old and I still have stickers that I bought for when she was a baby. So I was kind of happy for the opportunity to use these stickers. It's like I said, they are super old. And uh, they're still totally applicable. I do have two pages of girl stickers, so maybe if they have another one, it'll be a girl and I can use those. Most of the stickers and embellishment that I'm using are blue and gold so that they match with the collection. And then I have like these pops of this lime green that are in the collection but aren't the main colors of the collection. And I pull out those veneers again. I'm going to put one th that raccoon on a card. Kind of like a filler. Um, I want to put it on that card, but it would be too bulky because the other animal is on, or the other wood veneer is on the opposite side of that card. So there are some blank cards in here, and I think that's okay. Sorry about that shadow cast in the right hand. It's... Uh, my glue is sitting directly in front of my light, so I'll have to watch that. And we just continue to put on some different stuff, and I'm happy to be using this super old stuff in my stash. Uh, I also have some enamel dots that I've pulled together. Basically everything navy and gold and orange in my room I have pulled together for this project. <laughs> um, and when I'm not physically or actively working on it, I put everything in a box, like a box that one of my packages shipped in. Uh, I think I'm going to change it to one of those plastic ones, though. And I just put it aside. And I have not picked out an album for this. If anybody knows or has seen a actual album, and I'm not... I'm not picky. I don't care if it's a post-bound or a D-ring bound album. Uh, I like the D-ring bound albums for myself, but since it's not for me, it's not necessary. Um, if anybody knows of an album that would match this kit, this uh, Dreamland collection from Graphic 45, let me know because I have been searching for like eight months for an album that would match this kit. So this is officially where he's born. This is the day that he was born. And I do have the card that has the footprints on it. Um, and uh, on a previous page, I had made a little tuck spot for the ultrasounds. So this one, that big picture of the hospital down there, I didn't realize that that was his footprint, so luckily before I glue it down, I find, oh wait, that's his footprints. We are going to turn those over. <laughs> so <clears throat> yeah, I, I turn those over and I use this dark blue pattern. There it is. There's his footprints. I use this dark blue pattern on the very busy orange along with this. Um, it, it, it reads as a solid, but it's a pattern, uh, the blue and the orange. So I use that here and then that giant ephemera piece. And there he is, that's when he was born. So it has all of this information on there. 
and it and you know one day he'll be like hey you know what what happened the day I was born and here it is and maybe she can like tell the story and stick a little note in there somewhere so I'm gonna put some enamel dots and such on there and then that will be it for this page. Oh, I found this cool sticker. It says, this is life. It came with some kind of kit. I have a large amount of st stickers that are that size. They're huge. I think it was a Project Life or a pocket page kit. So uh, now on to the next page. And this is the binder that I'm keeping these in for now. Uh, and it's just a cheapy. I mean, I could keep it in there. It's just a black leather uh, Pioneer binder. So I got, I pulled out the next page. I'm not sure why I didn't do the 12 by 12, that 12 by 12. Um, I better check my binder to make sure that I actually finished it. I, I oh, there it is. Okay. Okay, so I am doing that one first. Okay, so this is the 12 by 12 that goes on the back of the 12 by 12 of the birth page. And those little die cuts that I have in there are actually a Paper House production die cut. And I got them on clearance for $1.50 for 36 pieces. And they're all blue, blue, orange, and yellow. So they match the collection perfectly. They were little boy cut aparts or you know, ephemera. Oh, I'm sorry. I got them on sale for 25 cents. I have the package right next to me. <laughs> so perfect edition. Uh, and I'll don't know that I'll ever have another reason to use them. Uh, if I do, then I'll just get more or a different kind. So that was a super simple and fast page because I used that very awesome pattern paper with the unicorns on it. And now we're on to the, I think this is the B design of the Project Life. So it has the four, four by six in the portrait configuration and the three by fours in the landscape configuration. And you can make Project Life super simple and just print out your four by sixes and stuff those in the, the larger four by six pockets and then put your journaling cards down the middle. But I like to, you know, change it up a little bit. And I'm gonna have to go on a run to Tuesday mornings to see if the one that is still open near me, I think there's only one open and it's about a half hour away to see if I can find some more Project Life page protectors. Uh, they don't make them anymore. Uh, and I do have several, but it's my preferred method of scrapbooking. And I don't think I have enough to last for like ever. So that would be extremely unfortunate to run out of them. Hopefully someday they'll come up with something similar. Uh, Cause I do enjoy this process. Uh, you guys all know that I do mini albums. I actually prefer to scrapbook in Project Life than to use the mini albums. I use the mini albums for special occasions, so to just highlight like one thing that has happened. I did one for my daughter's camp, I did one for homecoming, and you know, put the pictures in it. I did one for my boyfriend's dad. Uh, or for my boyfriend about his dad who passed away. So it, it, those are extremely specific uh, events or, you know, there's, there's not like a hot potch of everything. And that's what I do in my project life. Like this is a day in the life of, or a week in the life of. And that's just my preferred method of doing that. I do have December dailies and I can't wait to get started on my December daily. But I was using the Bow Bunny Miscellaneous Me 
uh, black album that looks like a chalk album. I've used it for the last three years and I have uh, like flip throughs on those albums and actually I think I have a whole playlist of one of them uh, December daily. So I'm really excited to start on that again this year but I thought I had one more album left and I can't find it. So again I'll be going through my stash looking for this album and it will be the last one that I have that's that size so I'll have to if I don't find it this year I'll have to change it for next year anyway so I guess it's not that bad so possibly I'll do a December daily like design so that it has 31 pages or 25 pages or whatever I decide to do uh, but this may be the last year that my daughter's here for Christmas because she's going to turn 18 in December, so maybe it's the last time I'll do a December daily. It's like one of those things that typically I do Christmas mostly for her, and if she's not going to be hanging around, then there's maybe not a whole lot to uh, journal about. So, I don't know. Some of those things we'll have to see. Of course, I can always do an album and just not put pictures in it. <laughs> I don't know. Does anybody else have those problems? Like, what do you do after your kids are gone? But I only have one, so she's it. And then I have a horrible, I'm going to leave this in here because I think it's funny. I am so confused about how to put these things back in here. It's a uh, it, it is quite amusing that I, I'm the one who pulled them out and I'm the one who made this page and I still can't figure out how they go in. And I'm like, wait a minute, that's not even the right way. That doesn't go there. That goes there. Trying to figure it out. And then I decide that that picture is a little plain and it needs something. And it looks like I call it a page. So I th this may be the last page that I do, and it is a 12 by 12. And I have this picture. That's my brother's big old arm holding little baby Liam, who's just a tiny thing compared to. And he has his dog tags on there from uh, his military time. And I, this is where I pull in a piece of solid, just cardstock from my stash, and it's a navy pattern paper with white splotches on it. Somehow, for some reason, I had a huge amount of this, and I don't have too much left. I think I pulled maybe five or six pieces out, so it's perfect for this project. I decided to cut one of the border strips from the border paper and the yellow pattern and that orange pattern. So just a little bit of everything. I have this sticker and this is from, I think the company Stickos and it says just me and my dad. And then I also have those pictures matted on a lighter blue cardstock that match the light blue in the collection. I tried to pull some of those die cuts in, but it didn't uh, didn't really work for me. So I'm just going through this huge stash that I have sitting next to my desk. And I decided I needed a little variation in the shapes that I have going on. So I grabbed a punch and I punched some one and a half inch circles, I think, and out of the yellow and light blue and some scallops from Stampin' Up. That's a Stampin' Up label punch. And I'm just adding those and it's where I'm gonna make my little embellishment clusters, mostly using those star stickers. And I think I pulled in some enamel dots and some of the die cuts from the collection. And then add some little stickers from this is and that's. So I'll just go through 
some of while I'm doing that and this is coming to an end so be sure you head on over to Artistic Studio Creations and check out their website. I'll link everything below and their Facebook group too and use Scrapping Posh 10 for 10% 10 off your normal price purchase. Um, I'm not going to have enough time to go through my miscellaneous stash of stickers here because we're uh, less than a minute till the end. So um, I will be filming the rest of this Project Life project or Project Life album. So if you are a Project Lifer, please subscribe. And if you don't like many albums, which is what I typically do, but I do a lot of different things, then just come for Project Life and you know, we'll see you maybe about once a month. I'll try and do one of these videos. Uh, I appreciate everybody who subscribes, likes, and comments, uh, or just watches. So I hope everybody has a wonderful day. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know below. And we will see you next time. Have a great day.